Hey everyone, so today's video is the Sephora VIB sale haul. I feel like maybe a lot of people have this vibe going in where like you're like, oh, there's not really anything I'm super into, but then you get into the sale and you like find stuff that you like. And I think I did pretty good based on how these hauls usually go for me. So let's just get started. The first item I want to talk about is the Makeup Forever Lift Concealer. And this is something, the whole lift line, the lift foundation and the lift concealer are never items I see at Sephora at Sephora's or in like the Makeup Forever displays. I feel like it might be an online only thing. And I've heard really great reviews about the Lift Foundation, but because it's not there, I'm kind of like, oh, I don't really know. But I heard about this Lift Concealer, you know, every so often I was like, I'm gonna give it a try because I don't have like a particular Makeup Forever concealer that I'm in love with. Like the full cover is great, but it's obviously it's drying. It really covers pretty well, but it's very drying. So you just use it very sparingly. And then the Makeup Forever HD concealer, I liked it, but I, I didn't love it. Like, I would recommend it to someone who likes lighter coverage, um, but when you use the two together, like the corrector and the concealer, then you get like really good coverage. So this is shade two in the lift concealer, and I find this concealer's consistency, application, look, wear time to be very, very, very similar to the HD concealer. Except this one you get 15 milliliters and that one you get seven or seven and a half. So double the amount in this one and I actually think the prices are similar. It can't be that different. I, I mean, I obviously will always link everything I talk about below, but I really like this. I have shade two and I use it on my under eyes. I don't have it on today. I have my La Mer concealer, which I so, it's like so brightening and perfect looking under the skin. Oh, anyway. So I feel like my brows are not very thick today, but I've just kind of given up on trying to like fill them in like full, full because I don't know, I guess my face is kind of, it's not huge, so I don't need like to balance anything out. Uh, and it's just easier when I don't have to like fake fill too much. Like I just kind of, this is kind of how thick my eyebrows or how thin my eyebrows are. So I'm sorry, I had like a late night yesterday and I'm like trying to not sound like I did. Anyway, I would recommend this concealer. I really like it. At first, I think I picked up shade two and three and it's one of those concealers where two and, it's not that three was darker, but three was a little more pinky and this one is a little more yellow. It's so subtle the difference, but I just don't want the more yellow one because I kind of like the way it brightened my skin tone. You would think the pinkier one would do more, but this is something I just use on its own. I don't want to use it with a corrector, so I just, it looks really pretty. I would recommend this. I thoroughly enjoyed this buy. Next, I'm gonna talk about a brush. It's by the Sephora brand, and it's the Pro Featherweight Complexion Brush number 90. There are about five brushes in this line. It's a fairly new line from Sephora. I might get all the brushes in this line. They're phenomenal. This one, it's so dense, so thick, but it feels like nothing. This I've been using for highlighter. And you would think, why would you? No, it is beautiful. It applies such a small amount of makeup. If you've tried any of like the Wayne Goss brushes or like those Japanese brushes that, you know, they look like a lot of other brushes, but the construction of them and the way the bristles are put in and the way they are, like the air, this, how do you say this? Basically, if you're familiar with those kinds of brushes, you'll love these. This applies highlight so beautifully they have a fan brush in the line i have they think they have a couple eye brushes and another complexion brush that's maybe like a powder brush these are excellent i oh i love this so much i have yet to i'm gonna try and use it for like bronzer and powder like face powder but so far as a highlight brush i've been loving it if you had watched my spring summer picks for 2016 i'll link it below if you haven't there's a lot of makeup repeats in there um so anything i talked about in that video I will try to talk about very quickly in this one. So this is the Tom Ford Bronzing Powder in Bronze Age. I have Terra, which I love, and I have Gold Dust, which I feel like I might block sale because uh, this, the effect of this one is matte, whereas that one, it has like gold shimmers in it, but it doesn't, they don't show up on your face. I just think I like this shade better for me. So let me, should I do a swatch? I guess I'll do a swatch. Oh, I love Tom Ford bronzers. I apply bronzers pretty much all bronzers with the Wayne Goss number two because no matter how pigmented or how powdery the bronzer is, that brush just picks up the right amount of product and you can build. I hate having too much bronzer. If you have too much bronzer on the face, it does not look good. I definitely have been victim of that not cute situation. Here's a swatch of Bronze Age. At first I was seeing swatches online and I'm like, oh, it's so orange, I don't know if I like it. 
but it's what I have on today and I really like it like I think it does like a very nice bronzy look I have it under here too and a little bit up here and I use it to slightly contour my nose Ooh, do you guys see those little bumps I don't know what's going on. do you see that hmm. and you know I didn't really contour my nose today so I'm not sure why that's doing that all right so I tapped in like a little bit of this like Makeup Forever concealer, so hopefully that's okay. That's good, maybe. This is the Cho Sunga 22 Jello Color Kit in shade 2. Um, I have the first one, and I showed that to you guys in the brands you should try. This is the second kit that's come out, and I'll be honest, this color drew me to the kit pretty much because I love shades like this. So I love that. This color, the one that's like, I've been killing, is this, uh, you know what, I feel like Swatches never do these shadows justice. They're so beautiful. When you put them on your lid, it is like the softest, prettiest, like glistening effect that makes your eyes look super young. I don't know how to explain it. Like they just look soft. So here's some swatches. Uh, obviously this is like the Bronze Age, but do you see those? Like they just, they're so pretty and soft and they wear so well. Um, they're so easy. If you're one of those like simple girl eye makeup looks, like these are really great. I mean, and I've talked about it before. They are quite similar to the ColourPop, but these are like cushiony. Whereas the ColourPop, I feel like, are more close to like a cream shadow. And these are just like more cushiony shadows. Okay. Next, we're going to talk about some lip products. Uh, I showed this in the Spring Summer picks because this is definitely new for Spring Summer from Burberry. It's the Full Kisses. And I have shade 505 in Nude. I ordered Rosewood, uh, but they sent me Rose Hip, and I don't have any Burberry, like there's no Burberry displays in the Sephora's by me, and Sephora doesn't do exchanges by mail, so I'm just going to return it, the Rose Hip, and just wait for a sale, like wait for like Saks to do 20% off or something for me to get the Rosewood, but this is a swatch of Nude. I have this on in the Spring Summer Picks video, so I mean, I've mentioned it before, so it's definitely gonna be linked in the description, but I love this lip color. I love this lip formula. Um, I said it so many times. If you've even watched any of like the last five videos, I'm always just like, I love liquid lipsticks, like a look of it, and I, I sometimes like using them with other lip products. But they're like high maintenance, you know what I mean? Like I, I don't want to have to keep checking my, my makeup throughout the day to make sure my lips don't look crusty or like not cute. And this formula, it's pigmented, it goes on smooth, it makes your lips look really healthy and really pretty. And that's just what I want. I just I want to look pretty, you know? This is the lip color I have on. This is the Givenchy Rouge Inter entered it vinyl i could be completely butchering that i am definitely someone that took spanish in high school so i'm very very not great with french pronunciation anyway this is what it looks like it says Givenchy on the container and you pull it out and you have like a black uh twist up now this is what the shade looks like so this is what the lipstick looks like you're like yeah that looks nothing like what's on your lips it's one of those shades that like adjust to your skin tone and you get like a really beautiful color. So I'm always kind of like, I, I never end up with a cute color. But look how pretty this shade is. It's so beautiful. I have ColourPop Grunge Lip Liner on, which is basically like this color. So it's not like this is like changing the color at all. Even when I wear this alone, it looks so pretty. Just for the video, I decided to do some lip liner so I look more put together. But there's a swatch of it right here of the Givenchy lippy and it is so nice i love the formula the formula is very balmy feeling if you want a really really comfortable lip product this is it i had considered getting the one in like it's like one of the another darker shade called mocha moka something i don't know i'm still probably gonna pick it up at some point but this was just like a random thing i saw like on a sun blog and I'm like ooh and I kept looking at more and more swatches and it looked really beautiful on every one that I had seen it on so I wish they would come with more colors I was into because I was looking at their nudes and I wasn't really into that um the one that I'm considering is like it's like a browner nude but it's so it's a little darker so it's not like a, a peachy nude or a pinky nude none of the nudes were, that were there were ones that I thought would look flattering on me like everyone else that participated in this sale I picked up one of the amuse bouche lipsticks by bite beauty I have honeycomb um, the other color I really liked was Sake, but 
I wanted to I would prefer to get more of the Burberry full kisses or more of the Givenchy so I was like I'll just wait on the honeycomb or on the sake which I probably you know who knows I might not even pick it up anyway so these I like more than the NARS Audacious. I always felt like the Bite Beauty lipsticks were like similar to the NARS Audacious. And while I like the NARS Audacious, I always felt like they were thicker going on. And then these glide on more, have the sim have like a very similar look, and they just look more comfortable and feel more comfortable on the lips. So I really like this formula. It is excellent. Have you guys seen, excuse me, I'm like, I feel a little dehydrated, like I feel like I should drink some water, but I'm, I'm not. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna carry on. There's this BuzzFeed video where they like eat, I think they eat makeup, or is it, what are they, or like edible like beauty products. So they try out like face stuff and they like try out, like they eat stuff that claims to be edible. And, and they, one of the items that they ate was a Bite Beauty lipstick and they said it tasted good, like candy, like sweet tarts or something. And I thought that was so funny. This is something I picked up on the tail end. I made two orders. So this is the Sephora Wonderful Cushion Cream or Matte Lip Cream. I have the shade Wonderful Purple. This is not like cushiony in any like sense of the word, the way we think of cushion makeup where there's like a sponge and it's like spongy. This is, it's just, there's like a cushion here, like at the, like, you know, at, it looks like the applicator, but all you get, it just squeezes out from the center. Um, I'm gonna put this, I don't know where to put this. It's a beautiful color and it stains. Like these stain like, hardcore really quickly so I'm gonna try and like blend it in with the cushion this might not come off this could be on here for the next three days there's a swatch of wonderful purple this is beautiful there are, I think there's four shades in the range and they're all like a pink or a purple with this I would just apply lip balm to your lips and take this on your finger and just slowly tap it in you need so very little it's so pigmented and you just tap it in you can kind of just do a popsicle lip which is what they actually suggest in the description it's like it does a really great Korean lip and you can tap it into the like center of your lips and it's beautiful and then if you want just extend it out into the corners like the outer corners of your lips and it it's a very full coverage beautiful lip color I love it. As far as matte formulas go, I really enjoy this, but I feel like you don't need to wear it matte. Like I always put a balm under it, and then sometimes I put my Givenchy over it. Sometimes I'll do some of those Lancome Juicy Shakers, which I really love those. Like those are really cool. I picked up three of them from HSN when they were doing like a deal where you can get like 25 off 50. So I got like three of the Juicy Shakers for like uh, maybe 50 bucks versus like, I think they're all like 21 each or something plus tax. Anyway, um, I'm thinking of doing a lip oil video. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. These are two lipsticks I picked up before the sale and during the sale I considered getting more but I was like, no, this is enough. These are from the Estee Edit. Uh, they're the, called the Barest Lip Color. These are their more like smooth, creamy lip colors. They have a matte range and I had swatched some of the mattes. I did not, I did not like it. I thought they were really dry. Maybe it was the tester, maybe, I don't know what it was. So this is number three. And it's called Exposed. And this is number four and it's called So Bare. These are colors that I, I feel like I've seen in like maybe like a Marc Jacobs line. But I never can get on with like the Marc Jacobs lipsticks as much as I want to. Like there's something about like... They feel really great on my lips, but then I don't know, like over time, maybe I just don't like them as much, so I just don't reach for them. These I love. I was wearing these nonstop when I got them. So those are swatches. That's number four and that's number three. They're really pretty. I was thinking number two I might get. It's kind of like this color, but more pink. And then shades like five and six. I think if you have like a deeper complexion, will look gorgeous. Although I'm also considering picking them up. I, they're just beautiful colors. They go on so nice. They feel super comfortable. I just feel like there's so many great lip products that are coming out now. Um, and there's a lot of stuff in this range that I'm interested to try. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I, I really was going to get more stuff. But I was like, no, there's so many other brands that I want to try that are coming out with new stuff. So I'll just like be okay with these for now. Another bandwagon item is the Anastasia Glow Kit. I have the one in that glow, which is the warmer version. I really like this. If you watch this channel again at all, I like more natural, subtle, glowy highlights versus the ones that are like look really metallic. Oh, I should have really wiped my hand down before doing this. 
So those are swatches on my finger and then I have the swatches on my arm. So they're very subtle, like they're there, they're definitely there, but they're not like crazy pigmented. So even though they're not super like in your face, they're definitely buildable. And if you kind of spray these with Fix Plus or like some kind of spray, you'll get that like, you know, metallic finish. But if you just apply them with or like a regular fan brush or whatever you typically use to apply your highlighter, you're just gonna get a really pretty highlight. And the value of this is crazy. Like it's 40 bucks and you get four full size highlighters and it's what, 7.4 grams each. Like that's amazing. Um, the other one was also really pretty to me. And it's not that I wouldn't wear them, but I just feel like this one was just, I would get more use out of this one. So I mentioned that I got the Burberry Rosewood, or I ordered Burberry Rosewood, but they sent me Rosehip. And so that's going back. And then I picked up the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector SPF 20. And I got shade medium light. And it's a perfect match. But, and at first, the first day I put this on, I'm like, oh my god, I love it. I text Andrew, I'm like, this is amazing. This is what I wish like the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint was like. And... You know, later on he was like, oh, why do you like it so much? And then I was like, I don't know, let me just, let me see. So the next day, I put Urban Decay, this one, on like one side of my face and I put the NARS on the other side. And I realized I didn't like either of them very much. Um, my thing with both of them is kind of, I think the NARS is better than the Urban Decay. But I also feel like, because of the way I like my skin to look, even if I have like a ton of makeup on, I want it to still look like really just like pretty face and pretty skin. And... My absolute favorite is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. It is thin, but it covers and it looks good. Um, and it doesn't feel or feel heavy or look very, very matte. And these, I feel like because they're like more of kind of like a creamy formula, almost like creamy slash gel slash moussey, but like kind of like a hybrid of all that. And it feels like you put a layer on and it looks good. Um, and I also feel like you need to use a brush with these. When you use a beauty blender, the water in the beauty blender kind of messes with the formula a little. So I find that you can't build these formulas, this one and the NARS one, very well. So um, this one's going back. Uh, if you like the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint, I'm putting it on the blog sale, so I guess you can All right, so there. lastly, this was like my big purchase from the sale. So this is the Makeup Forever like makeup case. It's actually quite big. When I looked at it online, I didn't think it was this big, but it is quite large. So this makeup case retails for $125. So I was like, I've been waiting to pick this up because I've had my eye on it for so long. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll pick it up during the sale, maybe. So at $125, and then there was, you know, you get your cash back and there's the 15% off. And I was, I just randomly was able to get like a $50 Sephora gift card. You know, like, I don't know what kind of who you bank with or whatever credit cards. You can earn points and stuff. And I like had enough to redeem like a $50 gift card. So I was like, okay, if it comes in time for the sale, then I'll get this. If it doesn't, then whatever, I'll just wait for November. So it came in time, like the last day I was able to get this. So what you have going on is you have two handles and there's like a snap right here. So you can undo the handles. The front part, is just a zipper and it like zips about halfway and it's just a full-on pocket. Um, I think if you're gonna use this as a carry-on, you could just like slip your laptop in there or your iPad. Uh, you can easily put like large bottles of like hair products or like full size, anything you wanna travel with in terms of bottles. You can put palettes in here. There's so much stuff you can put in here. You could put like your brushes, you know, whatever it is. I'm sorry that the like lighting keeps changing because every time I shove something in front of the camera, it like readjusts. So when you open it up, you have six mesh cases. You have two big full-size ones that are really great. You have like a pencil size one here. And then above it, you have one that's like double the size. Below it, you have just like two kind of standard rectangle ones. They're all Velcroed in, and I just wanted to show you how nice these cases are. Like, I know, I, I thoroughly enjoy the Zuka ones. I have, like, Sephora Zuka ones, and it's, like, it basically, they're, like, I guess, like, a polyester wrapped in a plastic. And then the, the front part is clear, so you can see everything in there. But I, there's something about, like, mesh that I really like, because you can see inside it. And these are really, really well made. Like, even, you know how, like, some things, when, like, you don't put anything in them, they have, like, no ability to stand on their own? These are not like that. Like, there's nothing in here. These are still, like, you know, they're not, like, like, they're not collapsing. They're just not filled. So, I don't know. I'm so excited to use these. I haven't, I don't have any travel plans yet. I would like to put some on the calendar for the summer. So I will let you know there. And then if and when I pack this thing up, 
I will share it with you. Okay, so the main reason for picking this up is if you watch this channel, I do a fair amount of traveling, whether it be like international or like just, you know, on the weekend somewhere. I always find that every time I travel, I have like my makeup in like a container and then I have my brushes in another container and then I have my skincare and then my, you know, maybe hair stuff, depending on how long the trip is. It, it's like all these containers and it's like hard to kind of keep them together. But the good thing that, about them being separated is like if I'm going to the bathroom and I just want to do my makeup, I can take that in if I'm, you know what I mean? But this is like all together. Like I can pretty much put all of my makeup, all of my skincare, hair care, body care, everything can go in there. Um, especially for like trips where I'm not flying, you know, because you know, there's all those rules, but for like road trips or car trips and this will be perfect. And then as far as flying goes, we'll figure out how to do that later. Lastly, I'm just going to throw a couple of things in from the Tarte Friends and Family sale. It wasn't part of the Sephora sale, but it was basically happening around the same time and there were some Tarte items I wanted, but I was like, I might as well just get them off of the Friends and Family because they were 30% off. So the Tarte Tees, this tiny baby palette that was like 21 and you're like, okay, so it's only $21. Why didn't you ever just pick it up? I swatch this palette every time I go to Sephora or any place that has it. And I just, I, I always want it, but I just don't get it because I'm like, do I need it? Do I need it? No, I don't need it. Do I still, do I need it still? No, I don't. But these colors are really nice. Um, and it also kind of quells my, um, what do you call it? It quells my desire to kind of pick up one of them big tartlet palettes because, you know, these colors are totally like, you know, in my zone. I'm like totally into them. And they look so pretty. You can do so many looks with them too, even though there's like six shades. Um, the other two are just highlight shades. One's a more creamy pink and the other one's more of like a creamy like peach, light peach. So I would recommend this. I totally love it. It's 21 and I got it for 30% off, so you know, super awesome. When I was at Sephora kind of figuring out what I wanted for the sale, I came across the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealers and I was like swatching them and I like really, really like them. I picked up two of the shades. I have medium, light, and medium. Um, I typically do this when I'm pretty positive I'm going to love the formula because I want to use it on my eyes as well as on my face. This is what the applicator looks like. It's like a huge sponge tip. I feel like I've seen maybe lip gloss ones that look like this. Um, I think maybe is it is it Palladio or Essence? Someone does like a really crazy big lipstick, lip gloss wand or is it hard candy? Um, so yeah, I picked up medium and I picked up light medium. It is so beautiful. This concealer is so watery and so liquidy, but it doesn't necessarily like move. You know how like whenever I show you guys swatches of like the Giorgio Armani My Short Eraser, like that one's kind of a movie concealer. This one, when you get it on your skin, it's, it, it stays fairly well on the skin. So light medium is that more yellow one and medium is the more peachy one. So I use light medium under my eyes and I use medium on my face and it looks so beautiful. For the under eyes, I think it's, perfect it looks beautiful like your under eyes will look gorgeous get a few dots on there blend it in with your finger finish it off with a beauty blender it is insanely gorgeous it doesn't move i feel like it doesn't get like into your lines like it doesn't settle even though it's like thin it kind of sits on there like very nicely and i don't find it super necessary to powder it because it's not like glowy but it definitely, I know, we're just like conditioned to like not want stuff to move, so we all powder anyway. And then the medium, the shade I got in medium, as far as like the concealer goes, like I said, it's great for the under eyes. For the face, I think it only does about like light to medium coverage. Like you're not gonna be able to cover zits with it or, you know what I mean? Like if you have something that really needs to be covered, like something really dark or a very dark area, it's it'll do okay, but it's not gonna like cover cover. So it's something that you can use maybe around your mouth. It's like use it the way you kind of use a corrector. During the sale, I also reinstated my Sephora VIB Rouge or my, what do you call it? Not reinstated, but like it was able to extend because. So you get this blush. I feel like a lot of people have shown this blush and it's okay. I mean, I don't wear blush like that. So I would have preferred obviously a bronzer or a highlight, but this color is really pretty. It's called Gulu. I think so that's what that looks like so that is the end of my Sephora VIB sale haul spring edition um, I'm obviously looking forward to the holiday edition we love that one because it's 20% off and I will link everything below and any videos I talked about I will also link below and I hope you enjoy the video and I will talk to you guys really soon